I am excited about this. <laughs> Me and my cheesy self. What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jim Rodriguez. Today I am super excited because the countdown is officially on. I am about a month away from vacation. So I've been trying out different looks to see what type of vibe I'm on. Today's video is sponsored by Love Me Hair. I will be trying on this soft, wavy, short bob wig with bangs. So bangs is kind of tricky, you know, it's kind of tricky. This is what it looks like straight out of the box. It already comes styled. It has some natural curls to it already. So I'm definitely digging that. Not a lot of styling I have to do. Of course, I recommend washing your wigs prior to putting them on. On the inside, it's feeling in terms of size, it's feeling a little large. So I'm a little nervous about that, but we'll see what it looks like on. It has two combs on the side, and then it has a comb in the back at the bottom. It also, of course, has the adjustable bands at the very bottom that you can use. I usually crisscross mine, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Pretty sure that's what we're gonna have to do. So I am loving that I can just put this on. I don't have to melt anything. I don't have to cut anything. I can just like rock it out. Now here's what I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna give you a quick hot tip and I've, I've shown this in other videos before. Even though there's no lace to secure it down with, whatever I put on, I will likely sew down because what we're not gonna do is we're not gonna go on vacation and come back to a viral moment of my wig coming off because my lace just wasn't Libra. I'm not, I'm not doing that, okay? So no, you have my word. Jan Rodriguez <laughs> is not to be played with when it comes to that. So I will do what I normally do if I wear a wig in the water. I'm sewing it down just a touch around the hairline or somewhere because you ain't about to catch me slipping on here. So let's get into it. All right, so I've got my cap on, my normal cap. Ooh. It's already feeling kind of tight. This hits really tight. It's really snug. The cap felt a little big at first, but it doesn't feel big at all. So I'm gonna get this lined up. As you know, there's that dip, boop, 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 that goes right here in front of the ear. That's where I fit it. These curls are really, really bouncy. So we'll kind of see how this rolls. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit just because I like my bangs to kind of be in the eye a little bit more. You know what I mean? Like it just kind of takes away from being like a, you know, I love Lucy type of look. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's not what I'm going for today. Trying to flat iron the bangs all together wasn't the best move. They're a little thicker than I thought. So kind of splitting it into two rows and flat ironing this, like this much bang probably I could do. Maybe the bangs just feel a little heavy for me and there's nowhere else for them to go. This is where they're meant to be. Let's see if we can get the rest of the hair to do something else. Cause I don't know about, I don't know. I don't know about this one. Before we style the rest, let me just show you the back and let you see what it looks like straight out of the box since it is advertised as a get up and go wig. not too bad right it's not too shabby it gets the job done when it comes to get up and go and all of that stuff but it's just almost too bouncy so I'm gonna kind of calm that down and see if I like it a little bit better so I'm taking the flat iron really focusing on the top section which is where um, I feel like the eyes kind of go first when it comes to when people look at you or when I see myself because you know about what I like, okay, bump what everybody else like. I am going to just kind of flat iron down a little bit, turn it just once, leave the bottom the way that it is, and take it out. And that still gives me a little bit of shape. If you see the difference, it just calms the curls down just a little bit. I'm gonna turn my flat iron so that it's going away from my face. Just do it one good time, boop. All right, this is what I got going on. Not really trying to take away from the curly look because that's the nature of the wig and I'm sure they wouldn't want me to go through and flat iron it all and take away from you know what it's supposed to be. But I did calm it down just a little bit. Back here, I don't mind a little bit more fluff because 
you know it's in the back of my head and there's no bangs there and it could add some volume to it so i don't mind that just around the face i needed to calm it down just a touch so you all let me know what you think of this wig it does run last time i checked around like 125 dollars i think i could be wrong so make sure you check the link in my description box see exactly how much it is and you know you can save 20 percent with the code gen 20 so make sure you use that discount code to save yourself some coins so that's what we got going on with this right here now what I'm not going to do is kind of ignore some other styles we can do with this. Now with the back, because it is so loose and you can't really do anything with it in terms of making a high bun, but I'm just going to kind of tug that in. I'll bobby pin it once my ponytail is set, but I'm just going to tuck that in a little bit. So I'm going to leave a little room and not make this ponytail too tight because I want to have room to kind of, you know, get that together back there. I don't, I don't, I don't want that little crazy. All right, I'm going to try to hide the back a little bit. So I'm actually going to take a little hair from this front, take some of the pressure off. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that really makes sense to you guys, but it makes sense to me, so. All right, so I'm gonna bring that around. I'm gonna take this lace part that's right here. Boop, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll try to zoom in, it's kind of loose. So I'm gonna take this hair, group it with that lace, do a nice tuck, and then I've got my bobby pin. I've got the bobby pin with the ridges part down and the straight part up. I'm just gonna slide that in there. This is laying nice and flat, the hair, it's falling at a good spot to group right in with the ponytail. And I'm just gonna fluff my ponytail around just to give it some volume. Not that bad. So we've got the pony look. You can take it all back if you want. So to make this style a little bit more formal, you can actually just take the ponytail group it in the back kind of see if we can place it where we want it take a nice small black rubber band and we're going to wrap and somewhat tuck make this bun as tight as you want you can do whatever you want with it if you want to make it a little bit more secure just add bobby pins in random places so again no rhyme or reason it's kind of messy you can always take a look at the back add some curls adjust what you want hairspray it to secure if this is what you're rocking with all right i had to throw on a red lip with this one because it was super cute i'm starting to catch the vision with this wig okay we're getting some redemption people all right, so I'm making sure to kind of start in the same place on both sides, which is right at the top of the ear and just take my pinky finger up. All right, so this is what we've got. We've got a little half up, half down style. This is cute. This is kind of cute. Definitely an option for like a nice beach day or just lounging around the house, going out for a quick drink. I love the flirtiness of it. This is a really cute flirty look with the curls. I wish there was something I could do with the back. So, I mean, you can like twist it if you want, I think, and maybe hide it with some bobby pins. You could always do that. You just run that risk. It's risque, it's risque right here. All right, you guys, what do you think? I'm done kind of playing around with it and all that stuff, messing it up. <laughs> I will double check all the specs and put it in the description box. So make sure you check that out and don't forget to use the code GEN20. If you plan on picking it up, save yourself some coins and save 20% off. But here's what I like about the wig and here's what I don't like about the wig. What I like about the wig is the hair itself. It feels really good, it's human hair, it curled well, it responded really well to heat. The bangs are cute. I really like the wigs with the bangs where you can, you know, make the bangs as long as you want, you know, or you can make it as short as you want. So I do like having that versatility. Of course, it's 
get up and go, get up and go type of wig, okay? You put it on, you go out the door and you're good to go outside of some light styling. So I do love the ease of it. What I'm not too hot about is number one, just back here, I wish there were a couple more um, combs at the corners at the bottom back here, just to kind of slide those in because they're kind of flappy. The length, I actually, I like the length, but I do wish that I got a little bit longer of a length. Again, that's something that I can decide. And last but not least, the only thing about wigs that come styled is obviously it's in the box. So when you take it out, it almost never really looks exactly like it's supposed to be on the picture, right? You're supposed to kind of finagle it and make it work and that type of thing. I feel like this is pretty close to the picture, but I do wish that maybe it came with a couple more layers or some movement or maybe having it a little longer. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's something that I don't like about the wig itself. Like it's probably not Love Me Hair's fault. It might just be the style it just isn't for me. So I don't know. You all let me know what you think. I'll rock it a little bit longer and see if it can change my mind. But overall, you know, it's a good buy. It's a good wig for what it is. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have a few more looks coming out for my summertime fine series. I might even throw a couple fashion tips in there. I know the sip and shop. So make sure you hang out with your girl and like, subscribe, and share the love with this video. I'll check you guys again next time. Peace. Why do I, I don't know. I, bye. <laughs> I'm so cringe.